Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about these. <laughs> yeah. As you've probably seen, I went to Amsterdam last week. It was amazing, it was really really good. I want to go back already. I didn't even want to leave. And there was shops there. So obviously I bought some things. <laughs> I can't help it, I honestly can't help it. And I put some money aside so that I could do that, so it's fine. But I'm trying to get through this quickly. I'm gonna try and get through this quickly because as you know, my last haul was 30 minutes long. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get through it quickly. I didn't, didn't go into too many places and I actually didn't find very much really. So um, yeah. Yeah, right, I'll just get started. I bought a couple of things to go with me. So I bought these things before I went. Um, I actually bought a big puffer jacket, which I just forgot about, but it was in, it's hung up there. It's just a black puffer jacket because I wanted one for winter. Um, that was from Topshop. And I also saw this in there. It's from Topshop. It's got one of those um, like tied up straps. They're really trendy right now, so. I bought this guy and I really like it because it has like extra fabric on the top bit so it just looks good and I also got this which I've been eyeing up in there for a while um, just a cropped knitted jumper really cute love that I do have some photos online on my Instagram um, of me wearing some things that I wore over there so if you want to check those out I just remember because this is in one of those photos link is down there I also got this which is from H&M it's just a plain white vest and I already got it muddy and I can't get the mud stains out so that's good but yeah cute staple I really love those vests right now so I found a Brandy Melville now I have really mixed feelings about Brandy Melville because I don't agree with their sizing, like, at all. There's only one size, if you don't know. They only have one size, and it's, like, size small. So, and some of it's, like, extra small, really. It's it's extra small, so it's annoying. Um, but I'm just drawn to the clothes in there, so I'm not going to take too much time. I didn't actually find very many things because I'm not an extra small. I'm probably a small or medium in tops right now, but that's fine. Um, I bought this skirt because I, can't, I don't know how to show you. It's just this pattern, it's a mini skirt, um, but it has like a tie, like it's like a wraparound skirt, so it will fit me. I tried it on like, just like in the shop and it it's obviously going to fit me because it's a wrap around. I really like skirts with like jumpers and collars right now. I feel like they look really cute. Hopefully it won't be too cold so I can wear some of those outfits. But yeah. Yeah, so I bought that. I did try on loads of different t-shirts but none of them fit me because they're supposed to fit like extra small people. And that's not me. So I bought this hoodie instead because I knew that it would be really oversized. And it just says New York on it. Cute. Just plain grey hoodie. I like it. And then, this is the most out there purchase of my existence, but I bought some flares. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram you'll have already seen this, but I bought some flares. Like what? I, d I just never thought I would ever buy some flares. These are from Pull and Bear, um, and yeah, they're just black leggings. They're like acid wash, kind of. They're more grey than black. They're high waisted and they just, they flare out. They're flares. Flares. I bought some flares. And I really want some like light denim ones too, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. If you know where I can buy some of those, please tell me because I really want some. I've kept all this stuff in the bags because I wanted to show them to you and not like have them just get lost and me just never making this haul. So I haven't been able to wear them since I got back, so I'm excited that I can wear them now. And then couple of bags. <laughs> we went to the Hard Rock Cafe on the last day um, and I just always tend to buy a t-shirt from there because they always have like the location on there and I just like them. And I have plans. Oh this is, this is Nathan's. I bought 
a black one and I bought it in size medium so that it would just be a little bit oversized. It says Amsterdam and it's black one. And I want to acid wash it. I want to make like all of this bit acid wash and then kind of like spatter it everywhere else. I don't know if it will turn out very good. I kind of like it as it is so I might wear it a little bit first as it is but I feel like that's a really cute like autumn-y vibe like acid wash black t-shirts but yeah anyway and then I went to Bershka is that how you say it? Bershka I've never been into a shop into one of their shops before um, I've only seen them online so I got really excited but the only things I picked up were some vests and a little t-shirt. So I bought this plain blue one. I actually really love the colour, even though after I bought it, Nathan said that it looks like one that I already have, which is true, but <laughs> I didn't realise at the time. But it's a little bit of a different blue and it's a different vibe, so it's fine. So I bought that one and then I bought this like knitted one. It's grey and it has these little like, it looks like um, little rips but they're not rips they're like they look like flowers so I bought that and it's ribbed as well it's really nice I bought that and then I bought this little this little cropped New York t-shirt it's like really vintagey looking so I bought it because obviously I love vintage things got that and then I went to Urban Outfitters to pick this guy up because I initially tried it on in there but it was like 40 euros, it was like 35 euros or something, ridiculous. So I was like, I know I can find that in Brandy Melville, but I didn't. Don't you think this would be in Brandy Melville? I just thought it would, they just have like nice basics like this, but they didn't have one in black, they had it in navy and in white I think. And it wasn't the same as this, because this is actually from the, um, like, uh, the pyjama area, like the casual cosy area where they have all the underwear so yeah this is actually like a pyjama top but it was just so soft and nice that I couldn't leave it there so I was like I'm going back to pick it up and it has like really nice little pearl buttons and it's like kind of sheer but I really love it and it's so soft it's crazy but yeah I really love that and then I'll show you what I got from this little shop I've never heard of it before it's kind of like Brandy Melville but with sizing so I really like it I only got one thing from there though because the other things I wanted were a bit too expensive and they were like sweatshirts and jumpers and wintry things which I do really want but we only had little carry-on suitcases and we couldn't fit anything else in there so I had to be careful with what I bought I got this guy couldn't leave him there. It was actually the only size left and I looked online to see if I could order it and that there was like one of these online so I'm guessing it was from the same shop and that was just like the only thing online. But yeah, got this. Really cute. It's like a nice, just like true green I suppose, colour. Like an olive-ish green. I don't know. But it says USA on it and I really like it. It's actually extra small I think. Yeah, it's extra small, but it fits me, so. And then, the last place I went for clothes is a vintage shop. I, we literally didn't even mean to find it. We were just walking past it, and then I just walked straight in, because I couldn't not go in, and it was actually massive. So the first thing I bought was this jumper. It's just a big oversized winter jumper. Like, look how cute this would be for Christmas time. I just love out there Christmas jumpers. Like, I really want like a big graphic one. Just a really garish one. I just love vintage, like old out there Christmas jumpers. I love ugly Christmas jumpers. And I thought this was the one. So I bought it. <laughs> and then I also got this really long, really long um, dress. It's like a just one of those vintagey short sleeve guys with buttons all the way down it and then it flares out into like a nice maxi skirt. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm not gonna leave it as it is. I mean, I might do. I haven't tried it on yet. <laughs> but I just really love the print and I, I really like um, like reworked two pieces 
like a skirt and a vintagey looking top. So I bought it just because I wanted to see what I could do with it. And also if I cut it into mini length, <clears throat> I can make another crop top out of it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but it will probably be a video. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, and then I think that was everything. Oh, I also got a yellow scrunchie from Brandy Melville, but it's in my drawer, so I can't show you. I mean, I easily could show you, but I can't be bothered to get up. But you know what scrunchies look like? It's this, but yellow. <laughs> and then I also bought... Where's my phone? I bought this phone case from the uh, MoCo Museum. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. MoCo? MoCo? <laughs> The Modern Art Museum that has Banksy and Cores and all them in it. Bought this phone case because I just couldn't leave it there, it was just too cute. And I also bought this tote bag because I really love tote bags right now. I think they're just really cute and I'm always carrying a tote bag so. And then I also bought um, this tote bag from, that's the logo somewhere, here. I'm really badly showing you. Um, I really don't know how to say it. It's like a... I'm not even going to try and say it. I'm going to put it on the screen right here, but... Because I bought... I've just been wearing it, so it's just thrown on there. Um, this really cosy... It's like a black, mal, grey kind of hoodie. But it's like really soft, it's like knitted like just the softest thing ever um yeah and it's really oversized and nice and I just thought like with some black leggings it would just be like a really nice cozy outfit so I bought that too and I think that's the last of it I'm pretty sure that didn't actually take me very long um hopefully it didn't I also want to show you this cute photo because I actually didn't film in there I can't believe I didn't film in there if you've seen my Amsterdam vlog, I'm pretty sure it's the last one I uploaded, or I'm not sure. I showed us going to the museums and a couple of other bits, but I didn't film in the ice bar, which is where we went. <laughs> we also went to the ice bar, so we got a couple of little photos. Really cute. Uh, and we also went to the Anne Frank house, but I thought it was strange to film in there. I didn't want to film in there so uh yeah but we went there too and it was it was really really good. Yeah that's it for the Amsterdam videos now. I swear I won't film anymore <laughs> until I go again. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh I think this was a quick little vlog. Quick little haul video. I'm not sure. It might be like two hours long. I don't know how long I've been talking but it didn't seem like it's that long. If the makeup look of this hasn't gone out yet stay tuned because I filmed this look earlier and I also filmed a lip tutorial because I know some of you have been asking about that so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time I'm uploading I'm on like an uploading roll right now and I really want to start pre-filming videos for October because I'm in the cozy vibe like really cozy vibe but I want it to be like Christmas now <laughs> yeah I'm gonna go put video ideas for October down, like makeup looks or outfit looks or just anything. Just put any video idea down and I will try and put it on the list. Okay. Bye. Oh, also my hair is brown now. I don't know how long it's been in videos like this, but it's brown. Uh, yeah.